हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लास दिस इज योर सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ इंग्लिश फ्रॉम एल पी एम पब्लिक स्कूल विच इज सिचुएटेड इन गोलाबाजर गोरखपुर माई डे स्टूडेंट इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी रिवाइज चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स एंड टू डेज वीडियो वी गोइंग टू रिवाइज द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज गिवन इन योर ट्यून इन टू ग्रामर बुक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू ऑल टेक आउट योर ट्यून इन टू ग्रामर बुक एंड ओपन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज गिवन इन दिस बुक सो डियर स्टूडेंट ओपन पेज नंबर फोर्टी वन एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज नाउ जेंडर ओके वी विल लर्न अबाउट जेंडर सो स्टूडेंट टेल मी वॉट इज जेंडर डू यू नो अबाउट द जेंडर वी हैड ऑलरेडी लर्न दिस टॉपिक इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लासेज सो वन मोर टाइम यू गोइंग टू रिवाइज दिस टॉपिक अगेन सो डियर स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट एज यू ऑल नो दैट नाउन्स कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू मेल एंड फीमेल ग्रुप्स दिस काइंड ऑफ अ डिवीजन इज कॉल्ड जेंडर डिवीजन ओके एंड इन टू दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू लर्न द काइंड ऑफ जेंडर एंड वी विल लर्न अबाउट फोर काइंड ऑफ जेंडर ओके एंड देयर नेम्स आर मैस्कुलिन फेमिनियन न्यूटर एंड कॉमन ओके स्टूडेंट सो वन बाई वन वी गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट this all kinds of gender dear student you must be remember that masculine feminine common and neuter are the four types of genders nouns in english it is very important for you that you must be remember this given information okay masculine feminine common and neuter are the four types of gender nouns in english dear student the first activity that is that is given in chapter number 7 which is related to gender you draw a family tree in your notebook and now write masculine or feminine below the name of each member okay you have to do this given activity at your home okay you will draw a family tree in your notebook and after that you will write masculine or feminine below the name of each member okay so now we going to learn that what is masculine feminine neuter and common gender okay so the information is given in your book we have learned that nouns can be divided into four genders nouns can be divided into four genders first gender will be masculine gender so what is masculine gender so nouns that nouns that is stand for boys men and male animals are said to be in the masculine gender what is masculine gender one more time we going to repeat this again nouns that stand for boys men and male animals are said to be in the masculine gender for example brother father lion son peacock tiger etc are the example of masculine gender okay now after masculine gender there is a next gender feminine gender what is feminine gender so student nouns that is stand for girls women and female animals are said to be in the feminine gender nouns that is stand for girls women and female animals are said to be in the feminine gender for example sister mother lioness tigress peahen aunt grandmother etc are the example of feminine gender okay now after completing masculine and feminine we moving to the next that is neuter common gender okay next gender will be common gender so what is common gender so student nouns that is stand for either male or female are said to be in the common gender nouns that is stand for either male or female are said to be in the common gender for example child doctor friend cousin teacher parent shopkeeper etc are the examples of common gender okay now we moving to the next that is neuter gender okay next gender will be neuter gender in neuter gender nouns that are names of non living things and are neither masculine nor feminine are said to be in the neuter gender nouns that are names of non living things and are neither masculine nor feminine are said to be in the neuter gender for example we can say that chair computer notebook room 
pen, car, wood, house, sofa, etc. are the example of neuter gender. Okay, student. It's very important for you that you must be done this given kinds of gender and also its definition. Okay. So one by one you must be learn this given information about the masculine, feminine, neuter and common and also their examples. Now we will move to next. So dear strain, next page on page number 42, you have to read this example to learn how feminine noun are formed. Okay, here the information is given that how feminine nouns are formed so you must be read this given examples okay in most cases no rules are followed and the feminine form of the noun has been learned for the examples in animals first category of animals second will be masculine and third is feminine so first animal is cattle okay and in masculine form it will be bull and in feminine cow next is chicken the next animal is chicken so in masculine it will be rooster and feminine it will be hen third animal is fox so it will be in masculine fox and feminine vixen fourth is pig so it will be boar and so next horse it will be stallion and mare in masculine it will be stallion in feminine it will be mare after that ship it will be in masculine ram and feminine view okay next is duck so it will be drag and duck after that cat so it will be tomcat and queen squirrel buck and doe swan it will be cob and pain so just like this you have to learn this given basic information about feminine nouns are formed how could this given animals form in masculine and feminine it is very important so you must be read this all given basic information now we moving to the next information that is related some nouns some nouns form their feminine by adding e double s to the masculine for example host it will be hostess lion it will be lioness tiger it will be tigress so just like this some nouns form their feminine by adding e double s okay and the next rule is sometimes the spelling of the masculine nouns has to be changed before adding e double s for example waiter waitress duke duchess emperor empress okay you can see the spelling of masculine nouns has to be changed before adding e double s okay now the next next rule is Sometimes a noun is made up of two or more nouns. Study this table to understand the gender change of such nouns. The first is salesman. So it will be saleswoman. Second is landlord. It will be landlady. Okay. Next is stepfather. It will be stepmother. Next fisherman. It will be fisherwoman. Next is main servant. It will be maid servant after that grandfather it will be grandmother milkman milkmaid so just like this you have to learn this given all information about gender and its kinds and also the examples okay student it is very important for you you must be read this all given information about gender and its kinds now we moving to the exercises so first exercise is arrange these nouns in proper columns Student, as you can see at your book, that here, here to the four columns one for masculine, second is feminine, third is common, and fourth is neuter. So, we will choose the word according to the given column and write down on the given blanks. Okay, so first in masculine, we will choose the word that will be it would be duke. Okay, in masculine, the first word will be duke. And after that, schoolmaster, nephew, monk, widower, and wizard. Okay, just like this, you have to write down one by one. Masculine word, masculine gender in masculine column. Now the next, in feminine, the words are aunt, bride, cow, heiress, and peahen. In common gender, students, cousin, bird, nun, teacher, 
in neuter doll watch house table just like this you have to arrange this given nouns in proper columns and you also write down this given exercise in your notebook you make you have to make you will make four column and after that you will you will be write the words according to the column okay now we moving to the next there is some importance for you that you have to remember so dear student you must be read this given important information and also you have to remember this all okay now we moving to the next so student next exercise is given on page number 44 and in this exercise you state whether the highlighted nouns are of masculine feminine common or neuter gender so you must be write m for masculine f for feminine c for common and n for neuter okay so you have to check the highlighted nouns so in number one there is a the milkman brings the milk on the time okay the milkman brings the milk on time so tell me this given highlighted word milkman which type of gender so we all know it is example of masculine so we will write here m okay m for masculine second is the princess wore a golden tiara so princess is the example of feminine so we will write here f next is the dog bark at the guest so string the first word dog is example of masculine and guest is example of common so we will write m or c both okay fourth is we saw a fawn colored doe in the sanctuary so string doe is example of feminine so we will write here f next is we vowed a new set of chairs for the room so chair is a neuter gender so we will write here and next in number six the child cried cried in pain so child is example of common so we will write here c in number seven the host was very polite so the host is example of common gender so we will write here c okay now the next age student next is number eight in number eight this banyan tree is 200 years old so the given word tree highlighted word tree is example of neuter gender so we will write here and in number nine my friend is coming home for dinner so the word friend is example of common gender so we will write here c the last one all the students stood up when the national anthem was played so student the given word students are example of common gender so we will write here c so just like this you will write one by one M for masculine, F for feminine, C for common and N for neuter in front of each sentence. Okay. So just like this, you have to complete this given exercise. Now we are moving to the next exercise. So in exercise B, find this in the word grid. Okay. You will find this given opposite gender in word grid. So first is feminine of ram. So it will be you. Okay. So we will find out the given word u is given e w e okay so just like this you have to circle it next second is masculine of dome so it will be bug so you have to find out bug so bug is given here b u c k bug so just like this you have to circle it third is masculine of fan so it will be rooster so we you will be find out rooster what the spelling of rooster r o w l r o o s t e r rooster fourth age feminine of master so it will be mistress okay it will be mistress so you have to find out word mistress now the next fifth is feminine of bachelor so it will be spinster it will be spinster so you have to you will find out spinster in this word grid sixth age masculine of goose so it will be geese so you you will find geese in the given word grid seventh is feminine of sir so it will be madam so you will find out the word madam it is masculine of ladies so it will be lord so you must be check out the word lord in this given word grid so just like this you have to find out the opposite gender of this given word okay given noun so just like this you have to complete this given exercise now dear student we moving to the next exercise it is exercise c that is given on page number 45 
so in this exercise read these sentences frame two correct sentences from each of them one has been done for you so student in this in this exercise firstly we will read this given sentences and after that we will frame two correct sentences from each of them okay so first of all you have to check this given solve sentence so in number one my uncle is very good hostess okay so here are two gender first is uncle and second one is hostess so uncle is example of masculine and hostess is example of feminine so we will write the sentence in two way first is my uncle is a very good host my uncle is very good host and second word my aunt is a very good hostess okay my uncle is a very good host and my aunt is a very good hostess so second sentence is my niece is a good boy or girl okay so we will write my niece is a good girl and my nephew is a good boy we will write two sentence first sentence will be my my niece is a good girl okay and the second one is my nephew is a good boy so just like this you have to solve this all and you have to write two sentences according to the given word femi according to the given gender okay you will write the sentence okay student third is the do ran towards him pawn so we will write the do ran towards his bug just like this you have to write down two sentences according to the given gender okay student so you have to you will solve this given exercise and also write down in your notebook with a good handwriting okay now we moving to the next that will be exercise d so what will we do in this given exercise d read at this uh, read at this sentences by changing the gender of the highlighted words so student in this given sentence we will change the given highlighted word okay we will change the highlighted words so my nephew is a doctor after changing the given highlighted words we will write the sentence again okay we will rewrite this given sentence okay by changing the gender of the highlighted word so the first is my nephew is doctor so we will change the given word nephew nephew is a example of masculine gender so we will change this given masculine into feminine so it will be niece so we will write the sentence like this my niece is a doctor my niece is a doctor second is the hand ran quickly towards her chicks so what the opposite gender of hand so it will be rooster so we will write the sentence like this the rooster ran quickly towards her chicks third is the milkman has already given the milk so we will change the given milkman into feminine it will be milkmaid so the sentence will be the milkmaid has already given the milk fourth is the tiger chased the deer so we will change the given highlighted word tiger into feminine so it will be tigress so the sentence will be the tigress chased the deer fifth is she reminded a bachelor all his life so student we will write here she reminded a spinster all his life so just like this you have to change this given gender of highlighted word and after that rewrite the sentences okay so in number 6 there is a word mistress so you have to change this given word mistress into master seventh horse so you will change this given highlighted word into mayor eight is duke so eight is duck so it will be drake number 9 is king so it will be queen number 10 is fox so it will be vixen so just like this you have to change the given highlighted word and after that write down this given sentence again okay in your notebook with a good handwriting it is very important dear student come to the next exercise in exercise f so what will we do in exercise f so fill in the blanks with words that are opposite in gender of the highlighted words okay so first is my grandfather and dad will be visiting us soon so what the opposite gender of grandfather so it will be grandmother so we will write grandmother on the given blanks okay so grandfather my grandfather and grandmother will be visiting us soon now the next the dad and the empress was sympathetic towards the poor farmer so student here we will write the emperor the given spelling is incorrect what the correct spelling of emperor the correct spelling of emperor will be e m p e r o r emperor and the empress was sympathetic towards the poor farmer okay now the next next number 3 
in number 3rd a grand a grand party was hosted by the bachelor and the so what the opposite of bachelor so it will be spinster what the spelling of spinster s p i n s t e r spinster so we will write the correct spelling of the spinster on the given blank number 4th all the salesmen and dads at the store are efficient and hard working so student here we will write saleswomen okay s a l e s w o m a n saleswomen at the store are efficient and hard working fifth age my uncle is a football player but my dad is a musician so student what the opposite of uncle so it will be aunt a u n t aunt six is there is a ram and a dad on our farm so student we will write here u okay e w e seventh is the dad goes hunting while the lion watches over the young ones so student what the opposite gender of lion so it will be lioness l i o n e w s lioness number 8 is the dash and the goose were picking at their picking at their food by the pond so we will write here geese g e w e s e geese number 9 the dash and the duchess recently visited india so student we will write the opposite of duchess it will be duke d u k e duke okay last one my dash and nephew are both very bright So, student, what the opposite gender of nephew? So, it will be niece. N i e c e niece. So, we will write here niece. Okay. So, just like this, you have to complete this given exercise. Exercise F. Okay. Now we moving to the next exercise that is exercise three. Fill in the blanks with the help of the common gender nouns given in the box. So, student, we will fill in the blanks with the help of the common gender nouns given in the box so we have to choose the correct word according to the sentence the first will be mimi's speech won her the prize for the best so what will write, what will be write here so we will choose the word that is speaker speaker okay so we will write on first blank speaker s p e a k e r speaker now we moving to the next in next all that present were warmly welcomed by the lady so here we will write guest g u e s t s guest third is i requested my dad to join me for a trek in the mountain so student here we will write parents p a r e n t s parents fourth is tansen was the best dad in the court of king akbar so here we will write musician m u s i c i a n musician fifth is the dad is sleeping on the bed so we will write here child c h i l d child six is the dad was dressed shabbily so we will write here servant s e r v a n t servant seventh is all dads were asked the asked to attend the counseling meet so we will write here never n e i g h b o u r never eight is the dad had arranged the report card neatly so we will write here teacher t e a c h e r teacher ninth is the new born dad was warmly welcomed welcomed in the house so we will write here baby b a b y b a b y okay student tenth is my new dad turned out to me to be my long lost brother okay my new we will write here friend f r i e n d friend turned out to be my long lost brother so dear student you have to correct the spelling of baby here b a b y so you have to write like this Okay, so just like this, you have to complete all the exercises of chapter number seven. So, dear student, I hope is that clear to you that how could you complete this all exercises in your book? And after completing these exercises in your book, you you must be completed this all information about gender and its kinds in your notebook with a good handwriting. You will write, and you will also write two or three exercises in your notebook. Okay. so it's your today's homework you must be complete your homework and i will explain the next chapter in my next video okay student so thank you